What's good YouTube? Swiftly here back with another NBA 2K25 video and in today's video I have another episode of badge breakdowns for you guys. Now obviously you can see in today's episode we are going to be covering the Dimer badge. Now if you read the description it says it boosts the shot percentage for open teammates on jump shots after catching a pass. Now if you played NBA 2K25 at all, I don't care if you played play now my team my nba my gm blacktop whether you played rec park theater pro-am proving grounds the the bs parks around the 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 city or whatever anything my court uh my career if you played nba 2k25 then you've already had first-hand experience with the shooting in this game so I shouldn't even have to tell you whether you need dimer or well, what's the highest level you need. Is there a sweet spot? Yo, the highest, the recommendation, whatever you want to call it, is as high as you can get it, okay? If you can go to gold, please get it gold. If you could go Hall of Fame, get it Hall of Fame. If you could get it legend, get it legend, okay? Now, for me, on my build, I have a 94 pass accuracy, so I have it on Hall of Fame. And because on my build, I'm on a 6.3 PG, Dimer is actually a tier two badge for me. So because it's a tier two badge, of course I use my uh, plus one on it because I'm not about to use plus one on like slippery off ball or something like that. So I use my plus one on Dimer. I slapped it on Dimer and I never moved it off of Dimer. So my plus one has been on Dimer this entire time. So I actually have legendary Dimer. And let me tell you, it it doesn't really make a difference i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you if you get somebody who can shoot it makes a hell of a difference but bad players bad shooters are going to be bad shooters unfortunately in this game and that's just how this game works you know what i mean like uh and, and i'm what i'm saying and i'm i'm just you know just bsing around like obviously it's going to help people make shots they're going to get a boost <clears throat> excuse me for their shot but it just feels like you know it's it's useless now in my opinion where dimer really shines is when you're playing with somebody that is using uh medium or normal i think it's called i don't remember if it's called normal or medium but the middle risk shooting option and the low risk shooting option they're going to really be hitting those whites i've noticed that people hit more whites when I switch to uh, Legend Dimer versus Hall of Fame Dimer. Maybe it's placebo. Maybe I'm just imagining it, but I swear when I had Hall of Fame Dimer, they weren't hitting as much. But when I put that plus one and I unlocked that plus one and I was able to put it on Dimer, I've noticed that they hit a lot more often, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, again, as for the recommendation, honest, my honest opinion on this badge is that you really should get this badge as high as you can. Um, you know, especially if you're running point, you're running guard, people are going to be catching a lot of passes from you in a, in a lot of, uh, times you're going to be, uh, giving them the ball in a catch and shoot situation. So you want some type of level of dimer. You don't want to be running bronze or silver dimer. Uh, you know, in best case scenario, you should be running a minimum of gold if you're running point, but really you want hall of fame. So you can put that plus one on getting legendary, you know? Uh, and passing is kind of cheap this year. You know, as you as you can see, I'm going to reset this build and just go to, like, let's say 94. 94 pass accuracy, Hall of Fame dimer, and you're still only at a 64 overall. Let me back out and go, like, let's say 6.3. That's usually what people go, right? 6.3, we go 94 on the pass accuracy again and you're looking at a 66 overall so passing isn't even that expensive so you as a guard whether it's the one or the two unless you're on a lock you can afford to go a little bit higher on the pass accuracy you know even if you go you know 89 you can still go get that gold dimer and then put that plus one and get hall of fame dimer but 94 pass accuracy isn't that expensive on a guard that you can't just run a 94 pass accuracy I mean, yeah, for the selfish players, the ISO players that don't really care about team ball, you're you're probably not going to throw 94 on. But for everybody else that's trying to play 
uh, team game and trying to get you know run a, run a traditional point and get their uh, friends open, their teammates open so they can win. You want to at least go Hall of Fame Dimer. You go Hall of Fame Dimer, you're good with that. And then when you get your plus one in the season pass, you throw that on Legendary Dimer, you're good. You don't really need to go 99 on the pass accuracy. You know, it would be nice, you know, but you don't need to do that. Not for Dimer. For other badges, maybe, sure, but not for Dimer. So there you have it. This is my take on the Dimer badge in NBA 2K25. Hopefully this helps you out when it comes to creating your builds and settling on a level of Dimer that you want to go out and use on your builds or your guards and whatnot. Uh, it's been Swiftly. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K25 content. And, of course, more badge breakdowns. I'm out, y'all. Peace.